go. Hey, how you doing? It's Chris again today. We're going to talk today about the way you truly upgrade a Bronco 2 or a Ranger's cooling system. I've seen so many videos online of people putting Explorer radiators into these trucks, into Rangers, Bronco 2s, putting electric fans in it. Guys, this is not the way to do it. I don't know if y'all just don't have an older person to talk to, don't know about older vehicles. You gotta think about things, guys, like this, okay? They were making, Ford was making other cars in the 80s, just alongside the Bronco, full-size vehicles. Don't try to put Explorer Radiator into your Ranger or your Bronco. Now, I'm not saying adding a little an electrical backup fan, maybe, if you're running air conditioner like I do. I've even thought about adding an extra electrical fan. But electrical fans are never going to match your fan clutch spinning with your engine. And I see you young guys taking them out, putting fans in. Stupid. You're never going to get the cooling power out of an electric fan that you will out of a motor spinning that fan at high RPMs. So, what you do, guys, is simple. I'm going to show you in a few seconds how I've done this for over 20 years. My mom's behind me. She can attest to you that I've been driving these Bronco trucks. I'm 48 years old. I've had one probably since I was 19, wouldn't you say, Mom? Yep. Okay. Always had one in my fleet. My mom will tell you I might have three or four cars, but I've always had a Bronco 2 in my fleet. Why? They're dependable car 2.9. I don't know what people are talking about. My mom will tell you I've had these cars get up to six, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand miles out of these engines, a million miles out of a couple before I've had any major issues because I changed my oil. I run a synthetic blend. I put a little Lucas in every oil change. I put Lucas in my gearboxes and stuff. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about radiators and cooling. So let's get back to that. The way you do this, guys, the simplest way. I've been doing this since I learned this in the 90s. Like I said, you can use an electric fan. That's okay for backup. But what you want to do is come with me. And what I do, people, is I got, I figured out through people that race and do other things, you know, work on cars with my best friend who's passed away. I miss him very much. Charlie was his name. Let me move his climate box out the way. If you've watched my other videos, you know I'm installing a, changing the evaporator core. And no, I didn't leave it blue, but I did put 15 good coats under there. Cause like I said in the other video, I'm never going to get back behind that climate box. So while you're there, paint it. I'm going to put that in another video too. But the point is this guys, they made lots of cars in the eighties. And what I found just looking and researching things is that you can get any mid eighties Mustang radiator for a 5.0, okay? Guess what? It drops right in. Look how much bigger my radiator is than the factory Bronco one. It's four or five of the factory one in width, okay? Fits right in the slots. You ain't gotta add nothing. You ain't gotta add anything. The only thing you have to do to make this fit in your Bronco or your Ranger is, like I said, ask for a mid-80s 5.0 V8 engine radiator. You're going to have to trim this top hose. Then on this side, uh, let me see, right here, passenger side, you're going to cut about this much off of your fan shroud and in about that much. So we're talking three or four inches of width and maybe a quarter inch inward. And the fan shroud, as you see, fits right back into place. I drive this car. I beat this car up. I use it for work. I take it to Nags Hair. 
I tow shit with it. I mean, I'm hard on this truck. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gentle on it. That's all I'm going to say. But my car, even when I'm running it hard, I'm talking down the beach, four-wheel drive, scooting through the sand with full-pressure tires, it might get up to the top of the L on the instrument panel. One other thing I do that an old guy taught me, old head back in the day, I don't even know if y'all know what that means. I live in Virginia. But uh, my old friend, his name was Todd. He has passed away too, unfortunately. Uh, he told me, and of course these older engines, they like to run cooler. So what I do in all my older cars, like my Jeep Cherokee that, my, that we have, I don't do this and that because it's a more modern engine. But this engine likes being cooler. So I leave the thermostat housing in the thermostat holder, you know, that you bolt up to the motor, the, the thermostat holder. And I just take all the guts out. That way you have the right flow still moving through your engine, but the, you know, the thermostat's never there to open or close again. So you always have full flow. And in the winter time, I take a piece of cardboard and I put it down probably about to here and I leave it flapped over this way. And in about 10 minutes, I have plenty of heat, 10, 15 minutes, plenty of heat, burn your feet. You know, you can't hold them down by it. It works great still. Um, that's how you upgrade the cooling system in a, these trucks. Not putting the fans in it, not putting Explorer radiator, none of that stuff. And this radiator actually would run a manual trans, I mean, an automatic transmission, but I have a manual because I like stick shift. My other old parts Bronco over here, that's got an automatic in it. You'll see some videos coming about that because we're going to do something crazy with this. We're going to, you'll just have to see. We got some wild plans for this truck right here. You'll see in the future. You can see our other Jeep that we just got. That's Shane's Jeep we just got and did a bunch of work on. You see, put the little ranch arrow lift on this little thing. Um, we do a lot of stuff here, but... I'm just trying to add to the internet what I don't see that I feel like should be there to help people. So I hope this guy's helped you all out, guys and gals. If you have any questions, of course, you can always shoot me a text on YouTube here. I'm not the best at checking things, but as soon as I see it, I will get back with whoever asks questions. As you know, I always do. If you've asked me a question, you know, I always get back to you. Um, and my next video, we'll be getting back on this, uh, evaporator core and putting the climate control box back in that you see over here. Um, bought some tape today. I'm going to repair all that. So I'll be doing a video about that. Hope everybody has a great day. God bless everybody. And tell your mom you love her. It's Mother's Day weekend. If you got a good mother. If you don't. Tell your dad you love him for being both. Because that's what I had to do, be both. So, everybody have a blessed day. Peace out.